All right, man, we back. Appreciate everybody for tapping, tapping in. Detroit Lions have, select, have selected uh, Suell, Penny Suell, out of Oregon. Appreciate everybody for tapping in. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And um, I think it was a good pick. Um, I would love Fields, but apparently they just told you that they're committed to Jerry Goff, which everybody in the city don't believe in, or that's Lions fans don't believe in. What Brad Holmes was doing, I knew they was committed to him when they said Brad Holmes is the one, is the one that that stood on the table and wanted the Rams to take him. So I mean, that is what it is. That's something that we gonna have to live with. But check out Detroit Lions talk playlist and um, but yeah, I mean, they said he gonna start off as a guard. So once again, number seven pick, you take a guard. Y'all you know, basically, Big V is gonna be at right tackle. So we going to be a right guard if everybody helped him. Once again, you take a seven pick and take a guard. When In actuality, what you could have did was you could have took Darisaw, who could play right and left. Okay. Slater, who they kind of saying is a guard because his arm lift. Or you could have went in and take the quarterback or the receiver and came back in the second round. This is value. That's what I understand the line. Unless they play him at right tackle right away, which I don't, I don't think they will. It's value in the draft. You know, but at the end of the day, basically where we are, where we are, where we were last year, we are this year. High tie is gonna start at right tackle. It sound like so well is gonna be a right guard. Ragnall, Jonah Jackson, you know, and um, and uh, Taylor Decker. Now, the reason why I like Darius saw so much is because Darius saw had a lot of length. Darius saw had flexibility to play left and right tackle. More with Sewell, they say he can play left tackle, but more tackle guard. And like I said before, you gotta understand that. The Lions needed a run, a road grader at right tackle. Look at Sewell. He's solid. They got him at, uh, I think he, he's at 331. You look at him, it don't even look like he's 331. You know, it don't even look like he's 331. You know, he, he look like he a cool two-something. And that's the beautiful thing about Sewell. You know, Sewell wears the way he's solid. You know, they say he got a pass, they got a, he got to approve at at run block. I, I mean, pass block, and I take that. I will legitimate take that. Why? Why would I legit take that? Because we needed we, Frank Rick Ragnar. We used to be our right tackle. He wasn't a road grader. We need somebody that's physical that can move mountains at right tackle, and that's why I like the pick. Because guess what? You know, I was kind of more on a. On, uh, on Justin Fields, guess what? It's cool. I don't really care. I legitimately don't care. The reason why I don't care is because we didn't get him. Because guess what? We completed the offensive line. They completed the offensive line. Offensive line was already strength of this team. Now it becomes a super strength. Now you got depth. Decker, left to right, Decker, Jackson, Ragnall, Sewell now, high tie right tackle. Somebody get injured, guess what? Crosby come in and play left to right. If you got a really injury, guess what? You can put Sewell at right tackle, you know. So then remember, if you need guard help, guess what? You could throw in Stenberger. So it's a lot better than when they're throwing in Dal and a lot of those other guys uh, last year. And I think they could have got Graham at a – I think a lot of people, because he was injured yesterday, last year. And the best play that high tie Big V we got from the uh, Eagles made, the best play he made was simply, honestly – it was simply the personal foul call, the holding call he got versus Arizona. We were thinking, SOL, we was looking for our first win. And that kind of really turned into the game clinching play. So, I mean, you know, high ties like a addition, like a free agent addition. I mean, you got Julian O'Cora, defensive end, like a. So, you got some additions that was here last year, but really wasn't here last year. And, um, like I said about the kid, roll grader, that's what you needed at right tackle. You didn't need. Right tackle for a right-handed, left-hand, right-handed quarterback. You need a roll grader. You need somebody that's gonna move tackle. Somebody you can get out there and be physical. And now they become a, a more physical football team. You think you like Ragnall, Jackson, Swell? Really, you should look for them to run up them gaps now. Run behind Jackson. Run off tackle with Swell once you get to tackle. Run between Swell and high tackle when they had right tackle, left guard. Um, run between the center and guard on both sides. So what you got now? Just saying in the between in the middle now with Jackson and saying high time. I mean, Suell's going to play guard to start in rag now. Now, on those 30 inches, starting shorts, four for inches, four for shirt. Now you feel confident 
when they form that camaraderie, you can get a ball to one of your backs, but you don't really have that physical back. But DeAndre Swift is physical enough, and you can get that into that yard. That's what you like about it. You know what I'm saying? And you have so much depth at the position. You can't knock it. They complete. They complete a, a, a position. And now this kind of fit with Dan Campbell won. You know, physical football team. Now, the only thing that can truly make this a bad trade is injury and them not them not committing to the run. But with Jerry Goff in the end of Matthew Stafford, it seemed like it was going to be the commitment to run. Because Matthew Stafford liked to spread it out, get all these, throw all these passes, get all these padded stats. Jerry Goff needs the run game. So if they're not going to run the game successful this year, Jerry Goff is going to struggle. Um, the Lions is going to struggle, and we're going to be up there looking for a quarterback next year. It's as simple as that, you know. It's as simple as that, man. And um, so, really, what it boiled down to is Anthony Lynn running the football team, running the football. And with this trade, even with him playing guard, possibly 20, 30 times minimum, between 20 and 30 times minimum, they need to run the ball. You know, that's going to allow. And really, look at the team as they don't have pass catchers. So, really, in the second round, they don't draft pass catching. What it's really going to be is Jerry Goff is going to struggle next year. Because he ain't going to have nobody to throw the ball to, you know. But I think they address that next round. But it may not be a lot of guys that you want. Tony, really who's going to be there is Rondell Moore. And if you come in with Rondell Moore, Tylen Wallace, anybody else except for Waddle who went to the Miami Dolphins, Smith, Chase, Pitts, where you're looking at is the Lions won't have a true number one. And I kind of agree with Joe Reddick, Smith. But then again, we're not winning next year. So they can build it however they want to build it, to be honest. Um... But, uh, you know, like I said before, man, great pick. They they completed the position. Giving your receiver wouldn't have completed the receiving core. That's a fact. Um, so, like I said, I love the pick. So, well, is, you've seen he's just solid, you know. And most of mine's <laughs> are solid like that. Not a lot of factors. Really, really, uh, really, really uh, solid, man. Solid, man. And, you know, that's what you want. So now you got to run. You finally got to run blocking. You finally got to run blocking tackle. That's what you want. You know, really now you can run off tackle to the right. For the most part, you can't run left because most people don't believe in Decker's ability to run block. But you can run right. You can run between the center guard, Jackson, and Ragnar. You can run between Ragnar and Hightower, or, um, which I think is going to be, what's up, the kid name? Suell at right guard for now. So. Love it. Great pick for the Lions. They got it right. And um, now, you know, get your hot picks tackled. Remember, through uh, Riley Reef, it was Taylor Decker. Um, no, there was, some, there was some more picks. Like the kid we got from uh, that ended up going to 49er land. So we finally got a hot, hot tackle. And hopefully everything we want more. And I think they take a little left tackle too. So be a, be aware for that. But I, I think him and uh, Jonah Jackson, I mean, uh, Taylor Decker arms the same length as well, too, so he could probably play the left. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Appreciate the love and support. You can reach out uh, all my links in the description, Twitter, so fast, and Facebook, and Instagram. If you want to advertise your business on the channel, video request to chop it up. All my links there. If you want to make a uh, financial donation, cash app, CJ Good 313 in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Best way to donate. Share, share the video. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Peace.